Salvation on Sand Mountain, Snake Handling and Redemption in Southern Appalachia, by Dennis Covington is a captivating exploration of religious fervor and redemption in the heart of Southern Appalachia. Through a gripping narrative, Covington delves into the world of snake handling Pentecostalism, shedding light on its peculiar rituals, beliefs, and the transformative power of faith within this marginalized community. At its core, Salvation on Sand Mountain is a testament to the enduring power of religious experience. Covington, a journalist by trade, immerses himself in the world of snake-handling Pentecostalism after covering the trial of Glenn Summerford, a preacher who attempted to kill his wife with rattlesnakes. Covington's journalistic curiosity evolves into a spiritual journey as he finds himself drawn into the passionate worship services and the mesmerizing, often dangerous, practice of snake handling. One of the central themes of the book is the idea of salvation through extreme religious experiences. Snake handlers believe that by taking up serpents and drinking poison, they demonstrate their faith in God and are thereby saved. This idea of salvation is not only physical but also deeply spiritual. Covington's narrative masterfully captures the paradox of risking one's life to gain spiritual assurance. Through vivid descriptions and intimate interviews, the reader gains insight into the inner workings of this faith, its emotional intensity, and the genuine conviction of its practitioners. Covington skillfully portrays the members of these Appalachian churches as complex individuals rather than mere stereotypes. He delves into their personal stories, revealing their struggles with poverty, addiction, and societal isolation. By doing so, he humanizes them, making it easier for readers to empathize with their choices and beliefs, even when they seem extreme or irrational from an outsider's perspective. The author's writing style is both immersive and empathetic, enabling readers to understand the allure of snake-handling Pentecostalism. Covington paints a vivid picture of the worship services, where worshipers sing, dance, and handle snakes with unbridled enthusiasm. His descriptions allow readers to feel the tension and excitement in the room as the snakes are passed from hand to hand, and the fear and awe that gripped the congregation. However, Salvation on Sand Mountain is not merely a voyeuristic exploration of a fringe religious group. It is also a story of personal transformation. As Covington becomes more deeply involved in the snake-handling community, he grapples with his own beliefs and doubts. His journey mirrors the internal struggles of the people he writes about, creating a powerful parallel narrative. Throughout the book, the concept of redemption is a recurring motif. For the snake handlers, redemption is a means of escape from the hardships of their lives, a way to find meaning and purpose. Covington, too, seeks redemption in his own way, from a troubled past, from his doubts about faith, and from the detachment of his profession. In the end, his quest for redemption becomes intertwined with the stories of the snake handlers, highlighting the universal human longing for salvation and meaning. The book also raises important questions about the role of religion in society and the limits of religious freedom. Covington examines the legal and moral complexity surrounding snake handling, especially when it results in injury or death. This adds a layer of ethical reflection to the narrative, inviting readers to consider the boundaries between religious expression and public safety. In conclusion, Salvation on Sand Mountain is a thought-provoking and beautifully written exploration of faith, redemption, and the power of religious experience in the most unlikely of places. Through his immersive storytelling and empathetic approach, Dennis Covington takes readers on a journey into the heart of snake-handling Pentecostalism, where the line between devotion and danger blurs. The book challenges preconceived notions about faith and offers a profound meditation on the human quest for meaning and salvation.